How did I go from here to here? What is up guys? I hope you all had a great week so far. I have to apologize today to you guys because I couldn't produce more content in the last week than just this video because I was actually feeling sick. I had a few health issues, but now I'm back to 100% and I can finally start throwing out those videos to you guys again. Today's video has something to do with a topic that I was alluding to already in my past Q&A video, namely my body transformation. How did I go from here to here? To tell you guys the full story of my body transformation, I have to go all the way back into the time when I was a kid. It's gonna be a journey through my years as a teenager, as a young adult. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing me from a more personal side, deep diving into my time when I was younger, into the time that finally led to the person that I am today. To have some visual demonstrations and to make it more easier for you guys to follow the journey through my childhood, I'm gonna provide you guys with enough picture material in the top corners of this video. So now we're turning back the clock and going all the way back. When I was a little, little boy, I was living in a small town in Germany, as you guys probably already know. And what is probably most obvious when you look at the photos is that I was always the skinniest kid in school. Even though you might think, no more it's, I've seen kids that are way skinnier, I was skinny myself in high school as well. Trust me guys, especially since I was quite a tall kid, it always looked pretty extreme to other people. And it was pretty damn obvious that I was a really, really skinny kid. Trying to understand why I was so skinny as a kid and why you guys might be skinny as well or a little bit chubbier when you were young, I wanna to refer to the concept of different metabolism types. It basically has something to do with how fast you metabolize your food if it's really fast, you obviously look a lot skinnier like I was when I was a kid. And if you're really, really slow in metabolizing your food, you look a bit chubbier. Referring to this concept, I'm in the category of the so-called ectomorphs. Ectomorphs basically always have to go to the toilet because they digest their food very fast. They have very thin wrists. You can see that I can get around here with my fingers very easily and also thin joints, which makes them quite susceptible to injuries because their bone structure isn't as strong as other people's. They're also so-called heart gainers, which makes it very hard for them to gain any more muscle mass, regardless of how much food they seem to be able to consume. But honestly, guys, who as a little boy thinks about concepts like this? Probably nobody. So I wasn't really aware that I was super skinny. I was just going through life, going through my childhood days, without really knowing that I was a lot skinnier than other people. That realization came a lot later. So later in my teenage years, when I hit puberty, I grew extremely tall. And guys, trust me, when I say extremely, I mean extremely. I was basically growing to the height that I have right now, which is 6'3". It just reinforces the effect of looking very, very long and thin, basically like a spaghetti. Bruh. And it becomes more obvious to other people because, of course, if you hit puberty, this whole body image theme becomes a lot more important to other people. So anyway, back in the day, I was playing soccer with my friends. I went to a soccer team. So as you guys know, I'm a very, very, very ambitious person. I switched the soccer team to a more ambitious soccer team, to a more professional soccer team which was a little bit further away from my small town. So I was introduced to a lot of new people and guys, it didn't go well. People started bullying me. And guys, honestly, up to this point, it still doesn't really make any sense to me. I still don't really know why. I can only make assumptions. It was probably, first of all, because of my appearance. I was tall and skinny and fragile, had to deal with injuries, couldn't perform on the pitch as well. And on top of having this skinny and fragile appearance, I had almost no self-confidence and I was a very, very introverted boy back in the day. So because of having physical and mental disadvantages, which makes it very hard to stand your ground in a group of teenagers that are full of testosterone, just had puberty and developed that kind of group peer pressure, which eventually led to every single one bullying me, even though the people that didn't start from the beginning. So guys, to continue the story, after a year at the football club, I was unable to perform. I picked up more injuries. I had problems, especially with my hip and backbone. They started dislocating each other all the time, which eventually led to me leaving the club and starting something completely new. 
I wanted to finally fight back. I wanted to grow stronger mentally and physically. So what I did was starting to go to the gym with my high school friends. So guys, the first gym session was done and I was already addicted. That feeling of having pumped up muscles, that feeling of having confidence, that feeling of actually being able to change your body just made me constantly addicted to going to the gym and I just pushed through. I really wanted to grow bigger. I really wanted to gain those big muscles so people would eventually respect me and treat me better as a person. Anyway, I did some research on the internet what to do in order to grow big muscles. I wasn't really looking into the right study, so all I found was eat more food. It didn't say which food, however. So what I did was just eating a lot of calories, kebab, pizza, burgers, whatever I could get into my body. I was just eating it, which is the totally wrong approach because as you can see, I just grew a little bit fat. But back then I wasn't as self-reflected, so I thought having more fat is also good because you appear stronger and bigger to other people, they would eventually respect you more. So I was just continuing that route until I finally realized that my cheeks got a lot chubbier than they were before. So I lost my skinny looking face and eventually looked like someone who had too many fries at McDonald's. So I think the general misconception about bodybuilding, getting bigger, going from a skinny kid to a more muscular kid, is pretty apparent. Having a calorie surplus is the right approach, but it depends on what calories you're eating, not that you're eating calories at all. It's a huge difference, for example, if you have the same amount of calories in a hamburger or in a chicken breast with broccoli and brown rice. That seems pretty apparent to me now, but back in the day, I just wanted the easier way, which was just eating a lot of junk food. Therefore, I could get a lot more calories into my system and eventually grew bigger, but with the disadvantage of gaining a lot of fat as well. So therefore I was doing a lot more research about the topic and I finally found out that you have to have a calorie surplus, but you have to eat the right food. So I applied my recently gained knowledge into a new diet and workout plan and continued that way until July 2016 when I finally finished my high school. Anyway guys, to continue the story, you know, after I finished my high school, I did half a year of voluntary service at a primary school and honestly guys, within this time, I reached my best ever shape. And that was basically due to one simple reason, a strict daily routine. So because of the fact that me and my friend had to take care of the children before and after primary school, we had to make sure that we arrive on time and leave on time. That basically set us in a schedule of waking up every morning at the same time, which is the first important note. The second important note is, getting seven to nine hours of sleep every day. So due to the fact that I had to wake up early, I was also going to bed very early. We also ate the same food every day, high protein, high carbs, low fat, like I'm still doing up till today. And we also never skipped the workout. So as you guys know, after I did a year at the primary school, I went to Australia for backpacking. And that's essentially where my modeling career finally took off. And the first thing that those modeling agents tell you is, you can't be too big for modeling. So what I did was listening to the modeling agents, losing a lot of weight again, not going to the gym regularly, not eating my meals regularly. So what basically happened to me is I manifested a wrong and false self image of myself. What that means is I adapted an image of myself from an extrinsic source, which was in this case the modeling world, the modeling agents. They told me, you have to get skinnier, you can't look too big. I manifested that into myself, into my own mind, and I lived my life due to this manifestation. So the lesson I learned out of this is that I should listen less to what other people tell me and create a more realistic motivation for myself, create a more realistic self-image that I'm actually happy with myself and I shouldn't please other people too much and leave my own path, my own motivation behind. So after my modeling contract back in Germany, I went back to my old routine. The same routine that I previously pointed out for you guys that led eventually to the same strong physique that I had before the time of my first modeling trip. So after that, I just continued living like that, having my best lifestyle, creating the right diet and workout plans for me. I was also experimenting a lot with calorie deficit, calorie surplus, increasing, lowering your body fat percentage. I have a really nice transformation pic from Hong Kong back in the day when I totally changed my whole physique within a span of three months. So guys, to come to the conclusion of this video, I created a little list of rules with four different parts 
for you guys that I want to present to you, which point out the certain aspects that you need to know in order to perform better, in order to get better physically and mentally, and in order to become the person that we all want to be. So the first aspect I learned is that physical and mental strength lay very close beneath each other. For example, when I was a kid and a teenager, I got bullied, I was mentally weak, which eventually also led to the fact that I picked up injuries, I didn't feel comfortable, and I was just physically weak at the same time. So what I did was physical training, physical improvements to also improve my mental state, my confidence levels, and I wasn't the same shy and introverted boy that I was back in the day when I didn't have that physical strength. Aspect number two, bigger isn't always better. Guys, one thing I learned out of my own journey is that humans always chase the easiest path. In my case, it was eating a lot of fast food and junk food and high calories will make my body look better. But in the end, as you guys know, it set me back in my goals. So what you guys should do, instead of trying to find the easiest path, you should go the hard way. The hard and long path is less pleasurable, but eventually provide you with a better outcome. For me, it was clear. I worked out my body slowly but steady. I increased my calories slowly. I learned a lot more about nutrition and workout also very slowly, but in the end, it all worked out and I finally achieved the physique that I always wanted from the start. Rule number three. So rule number three is all about having a daily schedule. What I would recommend you guys is creating a schedule prior to the start of the week, which means you set yourself an alarm every single morning, create a workout plan, you create a diet plan, and you set yourself some goals that you want to achieve. Therefore, you're going to wake up at the same time, you get the right amount of sleep, you won't alter your nutrition, you will always eat the right meals, you won't skip any workouts, you get enough steps in, and you will finally achieve the goals that you always wanted to have. And tip number four is, do not let other people create a false and fake image of yourself. Guys, as I pointed out in this video already, I can speak of my own experiences. Never let any other person tell you who you should be. It should always come from an intrinsic motivation. It should always be the motivation that comes from yourself. Nobody else can tell you who you should be. It's only something that you can find out yourself. You always have to question your decisions, question your motivation, and that will eventually lead to the person that you are today, lead to making you a better person and lead to a very successful path in life. You should do everything for bettering yourself, but you shouldn't always try to please other people. That will just lead into a path of anxiety because it's almost impossible to please everyone around you. But if you try to better yourself every single day, it can only have a positive outcome. You should also feel comfortable in your own body because this is essentially what you portray to the outside world. If you're comfortable in your own body, if you have a healthy looking physique, people will appreciate that and you will create a better image of yourself as a person. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I actually put a lot of effort into this video. I really wanted to create something for you guys, something that you can live according to, something that I learned from my own life and my own experiences. I hope this is gonna be helpful for yourself, whether you're a skinny kid, whether you're unhappy with your physique, whether you're unhappy with the ability of speaking to other people and portraying a certain degree of confidence. I hope this is gonna be useful and make you better as a person and eventually lead to the physique and to the mental state, to the personality that you wanna achieve for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can give this video a thumbs up write down a lot of comments as always please also make sure to subscribe to my channel share it with other people and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video stay tuned i was getting in the best shape ever when